So whatever you think your rank is on the sociosexual hierarchy, you're right. But you're also deeply, deeply wrong. Hi there, Lord J.E.G. here. Today we're going to talk about the sociosexual hierarchy. I'm not going to go too far into depth about what it is because there's a lot out there that's been written. You can go right to the source if you want to, and that's Vox Day at Vox Populi, and uh, just do a search for SSH in the thing, and since he's the one who coined the term, he's the one who came up with the definitions, you can definitely get all you need to know on the basics about that. What I'm going to talk about is some of the more or less specifics about it and some of the misconceptions that people have about it and perhaps a slightly different way of looking at it. And hopefully what that does is it broadens it and clarifies it for some people. So. The SSH is generally divided into seven categories. That is Alpha, Beta or Bravo, Delta, Gamma, Sigma, Omega, and Lambda. Okay? So look those up. I'm uh, not going to spend the next 10 minutes trying to explain what each one is. Most people probably know what uh, Alpha and Bravo is. If you're a follower of the Manosphere or the alt-right or the Christian nationalists or whatever, you know, anything that's basically to the right of Pol Pot, um, you've probably at some point heard of some, uh, some form or some reference to the SSH. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down a little bit as far as what it is, okay? Because people seem to have this idea that it's a very rigid, solitary, unchanging type structure. That is to say, if you're an alpha, You've always been an alpha, you will always be an alpha, and that's all you are is an alpha. And, uh, you know, same with Bravo, Gamma, Delta, etc. Okay? That really isn't true. In fact, Vox says the whole system is fractal, or if you prefer, um, fractional. Okay? So, there isn't a test yet, but I suspect that some enterprising some enterprising person out there is going to be able to come up with some kind of test and kind of give people an idea of what they are. But the thing is, is that the people like that, the, the what about me types, are generally gammas. Not always, but generally. Um, sometimes omegas and deltas too. But, but generally, the what about me types... Um, they usually, they're lying to themselves, and they, uh, so any test by its nature of this kind, personality, is kind of a self-reporting thing, so it depends on the person's inherent honesty, and uh, a lot of what gets people into trouble is just that they're not honest with themselves or with the outside world, but that's kind of a digression, didn't really mean to get, get off the track and get in too much into the weeds on that. But the thing about the SSH also is not only is it fractional, so there's no such thing as 100% alpha, 100% delta, 100% omega, whatever, okay? But what it also is, is it's dynamic. So those fractions are always changing somewhat, okay? A good example would be you stick a CEO, an actor, and say a ball player. Stick them into an unfamiliar situation. And depending on the situation, one of those three alphas is going to come out on top, and the other two are going to become, they're still alphas, 
but they're going to fill a more subservient type role. You know, same thing with a, a bunch of gammas. You get a bunch of gammas together at like a, I don't know, a Magic the Gathering convention or something. And you're going to find there's one gamma that, you know, he's King Gamma, you know, and then he'll have a maybe a right hand man or multiple ones. And then, you know, so on and so forth. So again, it's it's fractional and dynamic. And this is the point that most people miss is that it's capable of changing. So again, like I said at the beginning, if you think that you're an alpha or a bravo or a delta, well, you are. There is a part of you that is that, okay? But there's also a large part of you that is not that. For example, if you think you're an alpha and you look around you and, you know, you're not pulling eights and you're, you know, not being looked up to with respect, and you don't command respect or people don't look at you when you enter into a room because of the sheer force of will and personality, well, guess what? Sorry, but you're not an alpha. You know, if you think that you're cool and detached and therefore that makes you a sigma, you know, chances are if you think you're a sigma, you're not a sigma. So you're probably an omega <laughs> or a gamma. But, uh, you know, and that doesn't make you a bad person. No, it just when you run your mouth and people hate you, that's what makes you a bad person. Okay. So that's basically it. Um, now, of course, you're going to get the person in the comments who's, well, actually, I think it's this. It's like, okay. I'm just, I kind of came to this on my own because... I am generally acknowledged that I'm a Delta, okay? I have no desire to lead. I'm not a leader. I don't pull eights, you know? I'm just, I'm a schlub working in the trenches. But what's happened a lot in my life is that I kind of get thrown into more like a Bravo type role. So, and I'm perfectly happy in that, you know? Am I a Bravo? No, not even. You know, but I'm perfectly happy being a DB, being a Delta Bravo, you know, that's uh, perfectly acceptable to me, you know, and, you know, I mean, I can, if I need to go hard, I can pull on that little bit of alpha down, that's buried deep down in there, and, you know, if I need to, to research something, I can even pull up the gamma, you know, the subject matter expert. You know, but I prefer to just kind of do my thing and be the Delta. So this is all, like I say, this is all kind of from my perspective. And again, who knows? You know, most people seem to think that I'm a Delta. Most people are like, oh yeah, you're really reliable. You know, you're always, I know I can always count on you when I need you. Which, you know, says to me, Delta. You know, I don't, don't seek the limelight. Don't feel like grabbing any of that. Don't need it. I'm perfectly happy being a cog, but, uh, you know, so, so this is all kind of from that perspective, okay? So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, you know? But hopefully this kind of gets out there and kind of makes people just rethink it, you know? Because again, if you think you're an alpha, unless there's some proof, you're not an alpha. If you think you're a sigma, you're definitely not a sigma. There's like hardly anybody with a sigma, to tell you the truth about it. But uh, you're probably an omega <laughs> or a gamma, you know. Um, so yeah, delta power. Keep on delta -ing. And uh, yeah, if there's anything, you know, you want to talk about, put it in the comments, all four of you. And uh you know, hopefully this disseminates and kind of clears up some of that. Because again, the SSH is extremely useful. Not so much for yourself, okay? If you're using it to analyze yourself, you're kind of missing the whole point. 
the point is is you're you're it's more useful as an outside looking in than an inside looking out type tool um, because once you identify the alpha the bravo the deltas you know whatnot then you can use that information to your advantage and really that's the whole key whether it's in a workplace environment or a sports environment or whatever you know recreation whatever it, it's come in very handy um, so there you go hopefully it's provided some utility and if not well there's 10 minutes of your life you'll never get back sorry about that anyway thanks for stopping by take care